Magnetism and Matter Introduction Aman, can you please come here? I want to ask you something. What happened today? See there. A machine is moving this scrap of iron and steel from the waste material. Yes, I can see that. But how is it possible to extract the desired material from the wastage? It is simple. Basically, it is an electromagnetic crane which works on the principle of magnetism. Its anchor is made up of an electromagnet. When electric current is passed through it, it behaves like a magnet and attracts only iron and steel from the scrap. Okay, I got the answer of my question and I want to know more about this. Will you please tell me? Sure. Today we will study about the magnetism and matter. Objectives At the end of this lesson you will be able to define magnetism and bar magnet, know about magnetic field lines, analyze bar magnet as an equivalent solenoid, analyze dipole in a uniform magnetic field, describe Gauss's law in magnetism, know about Earth's magnetism, Define magnetization and magnetic intensity. Understand magnetic properties of material. Analyze hysteresis curve. Describe permanent magnets and electromagnet. Definition The phenomenon of attracting magnetic substances like iron, nickel, cobalt, etc. is called magnetism. A body possessing the property of magnetism is called magnet. The two centers of attraction in any magnet are called its poles and are named as North Pole and South Pole. The region around a magnet in which it exerts forces on other magnets and on objects made of iron is called a magnetic field. Bar Magnet A magnet in the form of a bar with magnetic poles at each end is known as a bar magnet. The main properties of a bar magnet are as follows. When a magnet is suspended freely, it aligns itself with one end pointing towards north of Earth and other towards south of Earth. Unlike poles attract and like poles repel each other. A magnet attracts magnetic materials. This attraction is maximum at the poles. Isolated magnetic pole does not exist. Magnetic poles always exist in pairs. A magnet can induce magnetism in substances like soft iron, cobalt, nickel and various ferrous alloys. Magnetic Field Lines A magnetic field can be represented by lines called the magnetic field lines. A magnetic field line is defined as the curve, the tangent to which at any point gives the direction of the magnetic field at that point. Magnetic field lines never intersect each other. The magnetic field is stronger in regions where the field lines are relatively closed together and weaker where they are relatively far apart. Magnetic field lines are always closed continuous loops. Bar magnet as an equivalent solenoid. The magnetic field patterns are similar of solenoid and bar magnet. Also the solenoid itself behaves as a bar magnet with a north pole on one side and a south pole on the other side. Two adjacent solenoids can be either attracted to or repelled from each other, depending on the relative directions of the currents. Let us consider a solenoid of length 2L and radius R composed of a series of N current loops each carrying a current I. The magnitude of magnetic field at an axial point P due to this elemental loop is given by mu naught upon 4 pi multiplied by 2M upon R cube when M is the magnetic moment of solenoid. This is exactly the same as that of a bar magnet at far off axial point. Dipole in an uniform magnetic field. We consider a bar magnet of pole strength QM and length 2L placed at an angle theta with a uniform magnetic field B. The forces exerted by magnetic field on the two poles are equal and opposite so that they form a couple. Torque is equal to force into lever arm. By putting the values in the above equation, we get the value of torque equals to mb sin theta. Vectorially, it is represented as tau is equal to cross product of m and b. This is exactly the same as that of a current carrying coil in a magnetic field. 
Potential energy of the magnetic dipole with dipole moment M in the field B is given by negative dot product of M and P. Example Let's take an example of dipole in a uniform magnetic field. A short bar magnet of magnetic moment 0 0.40 joule per tesla is placed with its axis at an angle of 30 degree with a uniform external magnetic field of 0 0.16 tesla. Find the magnitude of the torque exerted on the magnet by the field. Let's see the solution. Here given values are M is equal to 0 0.40 joule per tesla Theta is equal to 30 degree B is equal to 0 0.16 tesla We know that Tau is equal to cross product of M and B or in terms of magnitude Tau is equal to MB sine theta Put the values in the above equation. Tau is equal to 0 0.40 into 0 0.16 into sine 30 degree. On calculating the equation, we get the value of tau which is equal to 0 0.032 joules. Hence, torque exerted on the magnet by the field is equal to 0 0.032 joules. Gauss's law in magnetism. Magnetic flux. It is a measure of the number of magnetic field lines cutting through a hypothetical surface in a magnetic field. If a loop of wire enclosing a planar area A is placed in a uniform magnetic field B, then the magnetic flux phi B through the loop is given by dot product of B and A, which is equal to BA cos theta. Where theta is the angle between magnetic field and the normal to the plane of the loop. For an arbitrary closed surface immersed in a general magnetic field, the magnetic flux is defined as an integral over the surface. Phi B is equal to closed integral of B dot dA. Gauss's law of magnetism states that the net magnetic flux through a closed surface is always zero. Closed integral of B dot dA is equal to zero. The SI unit of magnetic flux is Weber.